Is silver actually cheap right now? Is silver actually on sale right now? Well, you might not like my answer because I don't think it is. But there's a good reason why. And this sh answer should be expected from me because I've laid everything out very... I've been very consistent, I've laid everything out, made it very, been very transparent throughout my time here on YouTube as the entire point is to share my story. But as I said, I'm not going to stack above $25 an ounce, I'm reevaluating everything. You're still right now, but I have started stacking again, it is under that $25 an ounce mark, but it's right up near that $25 an ounce mark. It's not cheap in my mind. I think that the price of silver was just ridiculously high before, and I actually never bought. I am slowly buying again now, but unless I find a crazy deal or something like that where I could get something like Canadian junk silver or something like that below spot, I'm not going to be buying a lot. I'm not going to be really going too hard in stacking. I'm stacking for all the normal jazz that you always hear, hedge against inflation. It's just to maintain wealth long term. But guess what? I'm young. I gotta acquire wealth before I start trying to protect it. Otherwise, it's like, what's the point? If you understand what I mean. So, as someone who's young, yeah, I'm gonna wanna... I speculated with silver. It turned out great. I am very happy I did so. I made a real nice percentage gain off of my silver. I backed up the truck at the bottom and I've sold at the top and it's hard to believe I actually did that with any asset because I don't really time the markets. I'm not really into timing the markets. But one thing that I am able to sense out very well, I find, especially with silver, is the height behind silver. When everyone thinks it's just gonna go up, I feel like, wow, I gotta take advantage of this higher price, I need to sell. And when I see excitement in everyone, like literally in February, at the beginning of February, I'm hearing from a lot of different people, isn't it crazy how expensive silver is right now? So I sold. Because what else do you need to hear? The price of silver is so high, people think it's crazy that are stacking it. Nobody else that's not stacking thinks, oh wow, I gotta, like, this is such a good thing that the pro price went way up. They thought, well, I missed out, alright, let's see what's next. Let me also say this, there's never anything wrong with missing out on every, on an asset that goes shooting way up. There is nothing wrong with missing out. I have more fear of FOMO than actually missing out on the rise behind any asset. Doesn't matter if it's stocks or whatever. I'm too afraid of buying with a FOMO mentality as opposed to just buying when it feels like the price is going to go down. When, I'm, when I feel like the price won't go up, it tends to be the best time to buy. When all the analytics say the price should be going up soon, but you just see the price movement and there's zero emotion, like it's probably going to fall still though, it's on a downward trajectory, that is when I love to buy. That is when I love to stack. I have my price points, I determine the value of all my assets, it doesn't need to be just gold or silver. I determine the value of all these assets, and if it's above that, I don't buy. I could even sell if it's way above that. If someone wants to offer me way more money than my asset I feel like it's worth, yeah, I'm going to sell it. If it's a fair deal in this day and age, I'll buy the asset because there's really nowhere to put your money. There's not many places. So if I can get a fair deal on any business, any asset, any anything, I'm going to take advantage, I'm going to buy meaningful amounts, and I'm going to be happy with what I'm doing. And if I miss out a little bit here and there, I don't care. I'm not making mistakes, and that's like what really counts. That's why I'm extremely happy. That's why I don't really buy assets and sell them at a loss. Because I don't really buy them while they're high. Some I've held on to maybe a bit longer, and maybe I've 
Maybe I might end up selling them at a loss, but I haven't really gone down that path yet. As I mentioned, I am typically a buy and hold investor. With silver, I speculated it with it. I moved it into gold. As I said to everyone that I would, that's the whole point of silver for me. I coin collect and I want to use silver as a way to get more gold. I like to go with the physical silver as opposed to paper silver, mainly because they just can't support the derivatives markets. A lot of people get greedy and say, I just want to make some cash and everything, and that's fine. Everyone has different choices. The thing is, I just can't support that, but my morals are different than all of yours, and there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone has slightly different beliefs, even within the same religion. It doesn't really matter what your thoughts and opinions are. It's my story, my channel, and I get to share, so haha. I am stacking now. And I am going to continue stacking now because it's a fair price and what else is there really to buy? I'm only seeing a few other, there's not much companies that are out there left. Maybe Manulife Financial, maybe T, like TD, Silver, there's not a whole lot that you can really skew, it's not really good companies, extremely liquid or any asset, at, just speaking about and investing in general doesn't need to be gold and silver companies any asset it could be a good deal but if it's not liquid I'm not really gonna be buying it I don't really enjoy holding digital assets like I do the silver and gold coins and stuff like that so if I can't enjoy the coins and stuff at home why would I want to be stuck holding those assets that are not liquid that I can't just go and flip whenever I want like let's take TD Bank, I put in a market order, a market sell order in, it's gone the second that I, like the order is going to be filled instantaneously. That is how liquid that company is. I could go take gold, silver or anything down to, a, down to the bullion dealer, coin store, whatever, I could get that silver value back. But let's say for coin collecting. You gotta enjoy that stuff, because uh, it's not liquid, it could be, you could be stuck with it for a few months before you sell it, just because you want the cash for it now, doesn't mean you're gonna get the cash for it anytime remotely soon. It could be quite a while, and that's why the liquidity of assets does matter. I'm not gonna be buying any digital assets that I cannot just hold on to and be happy when nobody's there to buy it, if it takes a while to buy it. It's like a home. You could list a home now, but it, nobody's going to buy it the second you list it. Stuff like that. People want to go inside. They want to take a look around. Stuff like that. And when you have a company where people... You can't just sell it instantaneously. you got to be really careful. Any asset that is lower li liquidity. That's why I don't really consider the collecting coins anything to do with stacking but i i'm digressing right now and i just see it as that's what i was doing while the price was high as collecting some numismatic coins now i'm going to be stacking while it's an okay price to buy is it cheap am i trying to take advantage of the dip and everything of course not i'm not trying to take advantage of these prices it's still kind of up there it's right at near the limit of my buying place if it let's say if it goes Low 22s, yeah, I'm gonna buy a decent amount. I'll, I'll start buying decent amounts, but is it really just to maintain balance in the portfolio, get some of that balance back from before and everything? When I wasn't stacking, because the price was high in my opinion, that's where I'm at, that's where my stacking's at, and I feel very happy with everything that's been going on. I don't have Oh, is it too late? Did I mess up or anything? No, I know what the value of everything I'm buying is. I determine the value and I'll take advantage when whoever the price is just someone screaming a number over a fence. If that number is far below, I'll be buying more. If it's way above that point, like it was in February, I'll sell and I'll take some chips off the table. I'm The thing about profits is had to sell because they're not gonna last forever take profits while you can you know the saying might as well judge the hype take advantage while the hype train is stop running just my thoughts and my opinions I'm not too worried about any of that 
but I like to judge the height. I find that's a good indicator of where the price is, what's normal, what's reasonable. And if people want to sell and keep driving that price down, well, this is the this is the opposite of a silver squeeze then. It's actually a good thing for stackers if the price goes way down. The fact that it was right up near my buying limit and then all these stackers said, hey, let's price mill stacks out of the market. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't very fun for me. I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy selling though, but then it got kind of boring because it wasn't able to stack and I do enjoy stacking. But that's life. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on if silver is cheap right now. I'm just kind of laying out what's happened the past little bit, why I do not think it's cheap at all right now, and my thoughts and opinions and plans moving forward. Thanks for watching, stay positive, and join the Beaver Dam fam, subscribe with all notifications on, like this video, and if you're still watching, leave a hashtag Beaver Dam fam in the comments down below. That way I know you're a real one and watch till the end. Thanks. Bye.